With more and more people testing themselves for COVID at home, some have taken to swabbing their throats. However, the FDA says you shouldn't. ABC 7 News reporter Melanie Woodrow has a look at the concerns. I've done it with this one. After a suspected COVID-19 exposure, Audra Shamowitz tested um, herself at home. Right. Only this time she swabbed her throat and her nose. We actually found a YouTube video that we watched before I did it the first time. The trend spreading online is not recommended by the FDA, but even one well-known local doctor says he's done it too. UCSF professor Dr. Bob Wachter says after his son tested negative for COVID despite having symptoms, the next day he tested him by swabbing his throat and nose. And that turned out to be positive. I don't think we know enough yet to say that everybody should do that. But that was uh, that was what I did based on my read of the current evidence. Dr. Joe DeRisi is also a UCSF professor and president of the Chan Zuckerberg Biohub, which has sought to answer whether rapid antigen tests work well in detecting Omicron. What we found is that the uh, rapid antigen tests, specifically the Binax now, works just as well with Omicron as it has with previous variants. He does not recommend using the Binax Now test in the mouth or throat. It can be dangerous swabbing your throat. It's really important to use the Binax test the way it was approved to be used in the nose. ABC chief medical correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton also recommends following the test instructions. It really depends on the test. So uh, do not take a test that's made and designed for a nasal swab and use it in your throat. It's a warning Shamowitz who has swabbed her throat twice says she didn't know before today. I have not heard that. <laughs> As for whether she tests by throat again? I guess not. Dr. DeRisi says he's studying cheek, saliva, and throat swabbing and expects to have that data soon. Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News. All right, for more on this.